We recently shot a video where we took this Oppo Reno 10X apart to see what was inside. In this video, you're gonna to get to see what happens when we took a trip to Shenzhen in China to see how Oppo puts it together in the first place. We got a good look at not only how this smartphone is manufactured, but also durability tested. Welcome to the Oppo Industrial Park in Dongguan, home to one of nine global smart manufacturing centers. This place looks nice. It feels more like a modern university campus than a factory. There are multiple sports courts with regular exercise courses for employees and even seven dormitory buildings and children's playgrounds. Now to the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom. We start with the brain of the smartphone, the printed circuit board. Automated robotic arms do most of the work. It's impressively efficient and the whole PCB part of the production line takes just 20 minutes. Pretty much every step is followed by an inspection process to weed out faulty boards. The motherboard defect rate at this Oppo SMT center is less than 0.1%. Once the brain is finished, it's time to put the body together. From the shark fin and its lifting mechanism over the elegantly fitting PCB to the massive main camera module and the battery. The speed and accuracy of the workers is really impressive. After all the internal components are installed, this machine that sounds like a 90s needle printer adds the glue that'll hold the back shell to the phone. As we've seen during the PCB process, the assembly process also involves plenty of in-between testing. For example, for the Shark Fin's compact lifting mechanism. For every smartphone Oppo releases, it has to design an entirely new production line, and each comes with individual challenges. The smartphone industry is developing rapidly and multiple innovative technologies are emerging. In terms of smartphone manufacturing, to respond to the industry trends and to support Oppo's exclusive technological innovations, we have a dedicated manufacturing technical team. They take responsibility for researching smartphone trends and also define what kinds of technologies are required to produce such products. For example, the customization of automatic equipment or to assist semi-automatic assembly order. Therefore, our products can keep up with the pace of industry development. Meanwhile, our self-owned technologies can be strongly supported by the manufacturing process. In order to maximize the performance of its complex camera setup, the Reno 10X Zoom is put through an automated calibration procedure directly in the assembly line. Once the automatic calibration is done, a specialist conducts a visual test of every single device. What follows is another plethora of tests and calibration steps. For example, for the optical image stabilization and the camera's dynamic range, but also for Wi-Fi, 4G, NFC and software. The last step is a factory reset in order to provide consumers with a completely blank phone. So how does a smartphone manufacturer ensure the longevity of its devices over, say, the two or three year lifespan of a smartphone? Well, just because the Oppo Reno 10X is already out in the wild, it doesn't mean that testing has ceased. Oppo told us it continues to run these tests until the smartphone is no longer in production. And for that, they've built a kind of special hell for smartphones. Welcome to the smartphone netherworld. This quality engineering lab is like a torture chamber where Oppo conducts a range of extensive tests to ensure that its smartphones can survive out in the real world for years of normal usage. The soundtrack is disturbing at first as robotic arms drop Reno 10X zooms on their screens and backs 20,000 times in a row. This test is designed to replicate you dropping your phone onto a desk or table from a low height. Yes, that's you. There are also more extreme drop tests where phones plummet from a range of heights up to 1.5 meters, landing on different impact points. Everything here is robotically operated for consistency. Elsewhere, robotic arms are busy bending smartphones and connector ports, pushing power buttons and volume rockers hundreds of thousands of times over, and plugging and unplugging headphone jacks and USB ports. And we haven't even spoken about that complex shark fin mechanism yet. We did three targeted tests for the special camera. The first is a dust resistance test. We opened the pop-up mechanism and blew dust on it for 16 hours to ensure its reliability. The second is an image resolution test. This customized graphics card test aims to guarantee the quality of zooming effects. The third is the pop-up durability test. The pop-up mechanism is essential for the camera, therefore we conducted 300,000 pop-ups under lab conditions to ensure no problems will occur when it's put into real use. But what else did we see? 
cosy steam room for one, and this chamber simulating everything from light rain to something more like a monsoon. For the latter, we were definitely thankful for the glass door and that wiper. Then there are Jean's rubbing stations to test the material, a freezer and even an oven, plus some very elaborate SAR value tests where an antenna stirs around in a liquid human in order to measure radiation absorption rates. Well that was super interesting in there to see just how these innovative smartphones are made and rigorously tested. We're now going to go down to the Oppo flagship store in downtown Shenzhen to see where these products end up. Oppo's store itself is striking. It looks almost like a spaceship has landed and eaten off part of an otherwise unspectacular office building. On the inside though, Oppo has made everything rather comfy. There are benches where you can sit down and charge your phone, as well as various ways to experience the products for yourself. The flagship store is not just for sales purposes. What we want is to let people experience a technological lifestyle, or just simply relax and chat with friends. We also have a space for special events in our store. For example, we hold photography workshops where we invite people to come here and share our experience in learning how to improve their photography skills. I have to say it's been really interesting following the journey every Oppo Reno 10X like this one takes. We've seen it from where it begins life in the smart manufacturing plants right through to a flagship store such as this one where consumers can go hands-on with the product. Unfortunately for us though, now our time is up in Shenzhen, China and we have to head back to Berlin. So until next time, thank you for watching.